Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped, and welcome to Bruges in Belgium. I'm here with Mini UK for the launch of the Mini Clubman JCW. Well, there's other Clubmans here as well, but we have a JCW Clubman. I shall pick up the keys, and we're going to go and find some lovely country roads in Belgium to put this through its paces. Headline figures of this car, 306 horsepower, 450 newton meters of torque, four-wheel drive, eight-speed automatic gearbox. I think it looks fantastic, beautiful colour, but this car's all about the driving, so I'm going to jump in the driver's seat, take it for a spin, find some lovely Belgian roads, and find out if it's any good or not. open road in the new John Cooper Works Mini Clubman. To my left is my oppo for the day, Mr. Steph ABTV. Hello. Now we have been on a few press trips together. If you haven't checked out Steph's channel, you need to go over there for all things Alpha, because yeah. you have a 4C. That's it. Alpha. And anything above, because you are Mr. Above, hence the name of your channel. Yeah. And BMW now And as BMW well. and Audi and all kinds and of Audi, things. Yeah. So head over, he does all the same kind of things as me. But we have this very, very sprightly little <laughs> clubman. It is, and uh, it? we've been trying to find some funky roads because, as you might be able to tell, I'm on the wrong side of the road because I am in Belgium. Um, we're over here with Mini UK for the UK press launch of the Clubman JCW. Club and JCW. Um, so, uh, I thought we'd talk through the car. Now, for me, this car is super interesting because it has the same engine yeah. and the same gearbox as the new Mini GP, yeah. which I have my name down for. And I've also never driven a Mini with an auto gearbox. Mm. So that's where I want to start this review. And you're quite, you were quite worried about this to start with, weren't you? I am. I mean, I've got a Mini with a manual box and an Audi with an auto box. Yeah. So I've kind of got the best of both worlds. But for me, there's an element that says maybe a Mini should be manual. So I'm kind of going to treat it with some caution. Yeah. Now, we've actually driven over here from the UK this morning, so we've already done quite a few miles in the car before we turn the cameras on for my review. My overriding impression of the, of the auto box is it's good at some things, but not so good at others. Yeah, I agree. So for me, um, you've got a, a number of different drive modes in this car, so obviously put it straight into sport mode, but then you can put the gearbox in sport mode. Now, you might be able to tell it's, it's holding a gear, it's revving mm. quite high. So when you put it into sport mode, it holds onto the gears for longer and revs a bit higher but it ch still changes on its own. However, it does that just at the right time. Yeah. And it's really responsive, kicks down really easily, holds the gears through the corners. Rev it matches. also rev matches on the way down. And I really, really like that. Um, and that's the mode I've been driving it in the most. When you go to the paddles, I think the paddles on the way up are okay. Yeah. On the way down, there's a bit of a lag for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, what is nice, um, and, and one of the things I'm often a bit critical of with uh, flappy paddle gearboxes is if there's a nice big um, gear selector number, and I've got a lovely head-up display in this car. Yeah. Um, oh, we've got double oh, well, goes, Come on, baby. Um, and you get what gear you're in. Listen to that. It 
just it just pulls and pulls and pulls this car absolutely brilliant thing so gearbox wise i mean if i just start going down it's not bad it's not too bad i think sometimes it just misses a bit yeah so i'm i'm pretty sure it's one of these the, the challenge with these press launches is you don't we we're actually quite lucky we're going to get yeah. to drive the car quite a bit yeah. but it, it's one of those things I'd like to try on a circuit I'd like to try it on a range of different roads the challenge we're having in Belgium is the roads are lots of long straights then a roundabout then another long straight and yeah. if you get a smaller road they're very narrow and yeah. a bit a bit tight yeah. um, so gearbox is pretty good the engine Tour de Force two litre turbocharged engine specifically for the new Clubman yeah. um, it's kind of a BMW family engine mm -hmm. so you'll find it in other things as well I think the new Series, one series. Uh, got it. Yeah. And, and clearly it's going to be used in the Mini GP. Yeah. 306 horsepower, 450 newton meters. Um, and I believe in the GP it will be the same numbers. Um, although there are rumours it might go a bit higher, but I'm pretty sure it'll be 306. I yeah, it, feel, it feels about right. I, I, don't, I don't think it will be any more than that. But big difference with this car, this is the Mini all four four wheel drive yeah. system. So um, that that power and, and it's for me it's not the power you feel when you drive this car it's the torque yeah it's it's just got so much push all the way through and I mean clearly you get to sort of fourth gear and you're still accelerating you have to back off because yeah. you're exceeding the speed limit yeah, absolutely um, so the the torque and through this all-wheel drive system is fantastic so actually to demonstrate the acceleration I think we need to find a little bit of road to a 60s test yes I agree yes Let's the next thing not 60s test let's do it <laughs> Okay, time for an auto 60 test. Enjoy. Three, two, one. Come on, baby. Oh. 60. <laughs> Mate, that's gotta be 4.9. That is quick. That, it's, that is quick. For me, it's when the gear, the, the the gear selects, you get this back, yeah. push in the back. That it's is solid, wicked. mate. That is solid. And it's got great noise. It's got a great, mate, that's wicked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not 60 to check. That's, uh, check done. So that's, that's a winner right there. Next. See, not a 60 test. 4.9 seconds. It's quick, isn't it? Now that's 1.4 seconds faster than the old Clubman JCW. But that, that in itself is so impressive. For, for, for Mini to take the Clubman 1.4 seconds, which, and 4.9, I mean, we're talking serious cars that do 4.9 yeah, 60. Yeah. And I think the thing, when the, when the last Clubman JCW came out, there were lots of rumours it would be 300 horsepower, and then it wasn't. It was like 235 or something. And for me, I was just really, really disappointed. So when they said, so no, no, this one is going to be 300 horsepower, like really, and it is. And, and finally, yeah. this car has the grunt to justify for me that JCW. Yeah. JC, I've got one. I've got a JCW. Yeah. They're always they're always nice, but you always feel they could be just that little bit faster, that little bit punchier. Yeah. You don't feel that in this car. No. For me, this car has all the grunt you would need. It is. Um, it's mega sure. impressive. The performance on this is mega, mega impressive. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> This, what's nice is it doesn't crackle and pop ridiculously, but every now and again you do get a fruity little bit yeah. of noise out the back. Yeah, yeah, you do but get a little on, surprise every now and again. On again. throttle, it really does sound very good. Um, I really like it, and um, I can imagine if you put a non stock exhaust on this, it would just sound absolutely oh, okay. You like November the 5th? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, handling and ride comfort wise. I'll tell you what, 
sort of for like a mini estate, the composure and how compliant it is around a corner is ridiculous. It's, it's mega. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we've done quite a bit of motorway miles today because of the route we had. And on on the on a dual carriageway like this, it is so smooth, and yeah. the ride is brilliant. You would think JCW model, the suspension's going to be a little bit. It's got a, a brand new uh, sport suspension for this model, but it's actually really good. It is. It's firm in the corners. It gives you a really nice stability in the corners, but on a dual carriageway, it's still yeah, it's, it's uncompromised on the dual carriageway. You, you yeah. literally get the best of both, which is yeah. really impressive in itself because one or the other tends to give, yeah. whereas in this, I don't know how they've done it, but it's, it's, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. good. Um, interior, well, I can't see a huge amount of difference from the, the previous one. Yeah. Uh, there's a new choice of materials. I love the head-up display, I like that a lot. These seats are brilliant, yeah. which is a good thing because they are exactly the same as what's going to be in the GP, apart from they're going to have a GP logo rather than a John Cooper Works one. Yeah. Um, but they're really comfy, very supportive. We've done, we've been in the car quite a lot today, and, yeah, and it's, really. it's it's nice. Uh, clearly, in the GP, I'm going to have a different dash because it's got the same dash as the E Mini, uh, which is an LCD display that will replace that analog uh, cluster in front of me. Yeah. Um, but no, it's a really premium, very grown-up feeling uh, car. Exterior styling, I, well, this car is in what's called Rebel Green, and I think it's a bit it's of a rebel. Beautiful, <laughs> it's really dark green. The red stripes are an extra 200 quid. I know, that, that, that I do find quite funny. Although, you may pay 200 quid for that, but with this model, they are giving you a lot more. Oh, you get loads. You get, I think they were saying in the briefing, you get what, what normally is a two and a half grand pack. Yeah. You get you included get standard, in this. Yeah. So this car is just a smidge under 37 and a half thousand quid, this I think, specific in car, this yes. spec. Yeah. Um, the main options this has got, because these JCWs come with pretty much everything. Yeah. This has got the Palm and Carden stereo, which is 500 quid. Yeah. Um, head up display. Head up display, 400 quid. Yeah. Well worth it. Yes. Uh, it's, re it's a really good head up display. Uh, hopefully that will be in my GP as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just a, it's just a, a nice looking car from yeah. the outside. If I'm brutally honest, I, I can see some subtle styling changes from the old one. The main thing, there's a new grille. Yeah. Uh, LED headlights come as standard in this car yeah. with a Matrix thing. Now we haven't driven it at night time. No. But I don't know what your view is of these LED, the Matrix LED headlamps at night time. They look really they, cool. They're, they're well, really they look great, well. but I love the way that they kind of mask out cars yeah. in the front of you. Uh, and then the big styling cue at the back is the new lights with the Union flag design. I just think they're they they really are banging, they're they're really cool. absolutely banging. And how are you finding the auto box? I, I just like it, sport, sport. Yeah. I'll leave it in that. Simple as that. Um, yeah, I think gear-wise, if we just kind of come back, I'll go into manual paddles now and just have a bit of a... Third. See, that was just a little, yeah, little bit laggy. Bit just, uh, and I'm being super picky here. I mean, that, that's hanging on, that, isn't it? That is literally hanging on. I'm feeling giddy now. I'm about to fall into you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> that is so <super> impressive. <laughs> just long squirts on a straight bit of road yeah, followed by a roundabout. I agree. And I think we found one. We yeah. just need to kind of go round this roundabout uh, quickly, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it does just... No, it just doesn't let go. Look at that, look at that. Oh, it's like mate. no hints of understeer. A tiny, oh. tiny bit of, of understeer there okay. from wheel spin. So if it loses traction, you can just feel at the front first, which yeah. is understandable. Yeah. Because I don't... This is... Uh, 
front bias four-wheel drive system, yeah. I think, that just kind of moves stuff around when it needs to. But regardless, it's. Uh, it's I would. I never say this on a press trip, but I'd actually quite like some rain right now, just to kind of get or, or you know low grip conditions, just to see how well it behaves. That, that for me, as a, as an owner of a front-wheel drive high horsepower car, I can't believe I'm just about to say what I'm going to say. I love the fact this is four-wheel drive, yet my GP is going to have gonna this be. engine with this power and this torque, and that's going to be front-wheel drive. See, it's going to be really interesting, isn't it? It's going to be lighter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and that I kind of going. So there's, I'm very, very excited about GP now because the interior of this is on the money for me. Yeah. It's a lovely place to sit, and I think that view is going to be very similar. From what I understand, I'm going to have metal paddles for gear change and a nice 12 o'clock stripe, and the, but the same seats, the same sat nav, the same stereo. It, it's all going to be the same. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be front wheel drive. Let's explore. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bring it on. of these roads though is you kind of very quickly forget that you're actually in a foreign country and you should yeah. be driving on the other side of the road. <laughs> should we go down? Yeah, let's try left. Left, left, left. Let's try left. This wasn't the one we went down before. No, this is a new one. Oh, look at that. Straight line. Oh, you might mate. need to do another launch control. Do you think? Yeah. Just to prove I that mean, the first would, wasn't a It fluke. would be rude not to. Launch control, by the way, in this, you have to switch the traction control setting to it's kind of off Middle, but not fully yeah. off. Foot on the brake, drop the uh, throttle. Hold it. <laughs> 60. It's that scrabble when yeah. it changes to second. Yeah. That is wicked. It's brilliant fun. So final impressions of the car. I have to say, I'd buy one tomorrow. I, I'm not saying that because I'm on a mini press trip. Yeah. But I just, I like my minis. This is a very fast mini. Yeah. It's put together really nicely. I think the styling is absolutely, I'm going to go downhill. Yeah. The styling is absolutely spot on. Yeah. And it goes like a stab rat. Mini have done a cracking I job. sometimes get comments on my channel, I don't get it, minis, I don't get minis at all. And my answer to that every time is drive one. Yeah. Because they have a very special feel, but this is the fastest mini they've ever made. Yeah. And it for me it's elevated mini up to I don't know, Golf R S3 type cars. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um and that uh, and it will be really interesting to see when this starts to get, you know, customers start to get hold of them and uh, and so on to see how that sits in that dynamic of car yeah. because for me that's where they sit yeah I so agree. i love it to bits um i have to say a huge thank you to mini uk for inviting me uh, out to belgium to test drive this lovely car <laughs> sorry i had to do that <laughs> um i hope you enjoyed it if you have done so please give me a thumbs up comments below are always welcome and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to petrofed for plenty more content to come and from this excellent road yeah in belgium from me and Steph, I'll see you on the next film guys, you take care, drive safe and make sure you check out this fella, Thank you. he creates some of the best content out there, Thank you, buddy. and you edit way better than I do, <laughs> hey let's go, woohoo!